I just wanted to say uh, a few words about the cowardly and brutal attack uh, against the people of Brussels. Uh, once again, uh, we are seeing this barbaric organization, uh, ISIS, uh, waging a cowardly attack uh, and killing dozens of innocent uh, people uh, in Brussels uh, and wounding many, many more. Uh, it is clear to me, and I think the entire civilized world, uh, that ISIS must be destroyed. Uh, we are making progress in Iraq. I ISIS is losing 20% uh, of the territory it held last year. But clearly, we have got to do more. Uh, we need to forge a coalition of the Muslim countries in the region, including some that have not been as active as they should be, with the support of the United States and other major powers to finally destroy uh, this barbaric organization. Uh, clearly, also, there needs to be improved intelligence sharing between the United States and our allies all over the world, uh, effective monitoring of social media uh, to stop the recruiting efforts of young people who are being led into the terrible life of terrorism. Uh, but we stand today uh, with uh, the people of Brussels, with the people of Europe, and I am absolutely confident that the day will come when a barbaric organization like ISIS no longer exists. Thanks um, very much. Senator, a quick question for you. Secretary Clinton was just on with Wolf Blitzer and was asked about how she would avoid an attack like this in the United States. She said, quote, that we have to toughen our surveillance, our interception of communication. Do you agree with her on that? Of course we do. That's what I just said. We need to have significantly improved intelligence. And that intelligence cannot just be done within the United States. We have to share intelligence with countries throughout the world to monitor people, monitor those who would do us harm. And that goes without saying. I'm sorry. Some other Republican candidates have suggested stricter law enforcement. And so, I'm sorry. Some other Republican candidates have suggested stricter law enforcement and specific surveillance of Muslim communities no. here in the U.S. Your response to that? No, I, I strongly disagree. I mean, that would be unconstitutional. Uh, it would be wrong. We are fighting a terrorist organization. A barbaric organization that is killing innocent people. We are not fighting for your religion. Senator, do you believe that in the wake of this attack that perhaps the United States is more at risk? We have always been at risk. Uh, we are dealing with barbaric people who want to do us harm, who want to do Europeans harm, who want to do innocent people throughout the world harm. And I know that our intelligence agencies, our law enforcement, people uh, will be as vigilant as they can uh, to protect uh, our country. Okay? Thanks, everybody. Thanks very much.